Disclaimer, if you are triggered by divination, astrology, tarot, and worldly discussions, this channel is not for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Wisdom and Light here, and I am back with another trending topic reading. And I enjoy doing readings like this, but then I'm also very terrified for the people involved in this reading on what we're going to be talking about. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Bianca, and welcome to Wisdom and Light, where we do trending topic readings like this one, monthly horoscopes, which are on the channel, so go check them out. Yes, I did bring them back. Um, and thank you guys so much for all of the positive um, responses towards the reading. I'm happy that it resonated. I do readings like that and whatever that's going on in the cosmos. We have to talk about the submarine Titan or the Titan submarine. I have to make, I wrote my notes right here. We have to talk about the submarine that got stuck exploring the Titanic. And I am filming this reading on a Wednesday and the reports were saying that they have until tomorrow, Thursday to announce if they survived or not. And the only update that I received is that they did hear banging and they believe that it's them. They have a very limited air supply and we're just wondering if they are going to make it and what happened, what caused it, and everything in between. So we're going to be doing a reading like that. I have my visions candle that I had available on my apothecary. So I'm going to light this up to help with intuition. And um, I'm just going to free fall it. I'm using my mermaid tarot. I shuffled it really, really good. And I have some ocean crystals over here. So... We're gonna get into the vibes. Alrighty, so we're doing a reading on the Titan submarine. It is 22 feet in length. The capacity is eight people for 56 hours. The depth that they are in is about 13,123 feet deep. In the Titanic or around the Titanic and they were exploring it. More information came out that it's being controlled by a game controller that literally costs $30 on Amazon, which is wild to me. And they paid about $250,000 to be a part of it. The people that are in the submarine are activists of the ocean, an explorer of the Titanic, a billionaire that has been to space and all types of stuff. So basically, very powerful people are in the submarine and they have dedicated their lives to exploring seeing new things and having a lot of what's the word i'm looking for they have a lot of access to the things that we don't another thing that went viral is i think a stepson or a son he went to the blink 182 concert even though his family member is in the submarine so i just want to see what happened? Not what happened, but let's focus on the energy surrounding the Titanic. We have the Three of Cups reverse. The Three of Cups reverse is celebration, happiness, and bliss. The card showed up in reverse. So, of course, people went on the Titanic to have a beautiful, good time. But we know what happened to the Titanic, which is why the Three of Cups is in the reverse in a past position. This is a tragedy that happened in the past. Something that was supposed to be joyous and a lot of fun turned into one of the most scariest horror stories that could ever happen if you were out at sea in the middle of the night pitch black and it's cold so the happiness and the cheers and the dancing the music that all stopped when the boat sank hence why three of cups is reversed show me the energy surrounding the titanic we have the king of pentacles reverse We have the Four of Wands reverse. The reading itself is talking about so much money was made because of this tragedy, meaning years and years later, there are people that are still making money off of, off of an unfortunate situation. 
because of the history behind it, the documentaries, the research. So it's just talking about how a very traumatic situation became profitable for a lot of people that were intrigued by the sinking of the Titanic. Oh, by the way, guys, this is just a general personal reading that I'm doing on the channel. You do not have to... Okay, this is just my intuitive breakdown regarding the situation. These are my intuitive predictions regarding the situation. So you do not have to believe in anything that I am saying, okay? So I just needed to say that because I know people stumble across this channel and I just have to say this disclaimer. This is just my intuitive breakdown. This is for entertainment purposes only. I am going to be reading some facts, but the reading itself is just what I am seeing and looking into the reading using tarot, astrology, and divination. We have the queen, the empress reverse, the seven of cups, Ten of Wands reverse, the Hierophant reverse, the Queen of Cups reverse. The Page of Wands. So I'm going to read this small little note that I wrote. I wrote this down because I saw it. So let me just read this. The lost submersible from the company Ocean Gate is a technical... Is a, so let me just read this to you guys. The submersible... Let me, so let me just read this to you guys. The lost submersible from the company Ocean Gate is a technological oh my god i'm like fucking up so let me just read this to you guys the lost submersible from the company ocean gate is a technological maverick based on novel concepts that differ from standard designs moreover unlike the deep sea craft titan has undergone no certification by a reputable marine group that does such licensing work for other craft including one built by the ocean gate that dives into shallower depths. Meaning this wasn't tested before these people got on the submarine. It wasn't approved. It, it didn't get the green light to be able to do this mission. It's it's just it's just um it's wild. But back to the reading. Four of Wands, the Empress reverse, the Seven of Cups. The Ten of Wands reverse, the Hierophant reverse, and then we also have the Queen of Cups reverse. They were warned not to do this. They were warned to not be a part of this mission. They were warned to wait until more testing and information came out. And it feels like women were warning them. So this could be women that they're friends with, women that they're seeing, this could be their wives. They were, it's like, please take caution. Are you sure you want to do this? That's what I'm gathering from this. This could be daughters, just women that care. I am picking up on that a little bit because I'm hearing the complaining about it, but I want to focus on the King of Pentacles reverse. This is a classic case of, I have the money so I can do whatever I want. I have the prestige so I can go wherever I want and I have the access so there's nothing that I can't have. There's nothing that I can't touch. Of course, these men make a lot of money. They don't hear a no and this is probably the problem. If this 
submarine was not properly tested, you would think that laws and rules would say, nope, you can't do this until this happens. But because they had the money, seems like when you have a lot of money, you're around a lot of yes men. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. We can definitely do that. That's a great idea. So the King of Pentacles reverse, from what I'm gathering from this, it's talking about having so much money to the point where you're no longer grounded to reality. Because the King of Pentacles upright is someone that is grounded to reality and he's able to create a lot of material success around him. When it's reverse, it speaks about you have so much money, you have so much access to these things, you lose touch with reality in itself and you're not invincible, you're not powerful. And when you're put in situations like this, you're reminded that you're not. You're reminded of just how small you are compared to the ocean. And I'm not saying this to be negative. I really do hope that they pull through from this. But it speaks about, the reading itself is talking about an unfortunate situation happened with the Titanic. The card showed up reverse. A lot of rich men, a lot of people with money and access made this a vacation, made this something, oh yeah, let's do this, let's do that. When there's actually a lot of, um, there's a lot of um, weird energy around the Titanic. I believe that it's cursed. I do, I believe that it's cursed. And what I'm picking up on intuitively around the time when the Titanic was sinking, a lot of, of, of course, it's, it's been documented. Nothing that I'm saying in regards to the Titanic and the facts behind it, you can't research it yourself. But from what I'm picking up on in the reading, a lot of women and children died. And there's feminine energy here. And it's talking about when you go into the Titanic and you stay there, you can actually hear those, you can hear our, you can still hear certain things. It's weird. Just picked up on that. If you stay in there long enough, you can hear what the people went through when it sinked. We also have the Seven of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands reverse. We have the Hierophant. We have the Queen of Cups reverse. Another thing that I'm also picking up on, and again, this is just my spiritual interpretation. I'm doing this reading. I'm just going to say it. There is something around the Titanic that, think of it like a haunted house. It's haunted. Queen of, not the queen, but the empress is here. And the queen of cups is here. And it's all water. I've always felt that there was something in the ocean that we know nothing about. And I believe that Whatever that's going on deep within the ocean, something, things that we've never seen before, I believe aliens, protect it. So every time a human goes a bit too far, they go in territories they're not supposed to go into in the ocean, they disappear. If you ever fall off of a boat in the middle of the ocean, you're probably not going to get found. That just goes without saying. There's been stories of people that get lost at sea and they never come back. There's stories in Haiti where there are people that get taken into the ocean and they don't come back until seven years later and they come back as priestesses because the spirits of the ocean taught them the ways of divination, healing, and all of that. There's been so many legends about that in Haiti. So it's interesting that even in this reading, that 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 vibe is here and there's also a disturbance that's going on in the ocean as well have you guys been hearing about um the killer whales attacking yachts and ships and actually killing people did you hear about well there's always shark attacks but have you been hearing about more attacks in the ocean as of lately there's something going on with the water and I'm going to go back to the reading that I did regarding aliens and what's going on. I believe that something's going on deep within the water and because of how humans have been treating the ocean 
it's almost like there's a punishment for all that has been done in the ocean, how the water has been contaminated. Even though this is about the submarine and will they be able to get out safely, I can't help but connect the dots that all of this is connected. This isn't happening for no reason. And I do believe that hurricane season is going to be a doozy. We're just going to hear more stuff about the ocean. More things are going to come out surrounding the ocean, okay? Ten of Wands reverse, Seven of Cups. Now, with the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands reverse and the Hierophant reverse, this is already telling me not enough research, not enough work was done. There was still a lot of confusion around this submarine. This is just... This really could have been avoided and that's what's unfortunate about this so now i want to see will there be a positive outcome for the sake of the families that are affected by this by the way i am filming this reading wednesday on june 21st and it is 9 a.m and it's also the summer solstice happy summer solstice and um, if you join the candle group service for the summer solstice, thank you so much for joining. It's just a few of you that join and that's perfectly fine. So I will send you guys information later. Oh, and by the way, if you're liking this reading, subscribe. So you can always um, come back and see more updates. Ooh, these cards came out. Well, we hear positive news. We have the lovers reverse. We have the nine of swords. We have the temperance. And then we have the king of swords. A lot of fear here, a lot of anxiety here. The King of Wands, Five of Swords. Also, they're looking in the wrong direction. Okay, now I'm getting information. They're looking in the wrong direction. The rescue team is looking in the wrong direction. And I keep hearing arguing about, no, it's here, no, it's here, no, it's here, no, it's here. Knight of Wands reverse. That's an impulsive energy. Five of Swords is conflict and disagreement. There are people that are yelling and arguing about where they could be the hangman. We may not hear good news regarding the outcome of this, guys. Things can change. I hope they do. Things can definitely change. But with the hangman, the Five of Swords, the Knight of Wands reverse, um, another card is the seven of wands there's going to be more commotion and arguing about the situation itself rather than okay let's put our heads together and look for them i do feel like of course there's a lot of people taking this seriously but then there's people that are arguing about what should be done i think we should go this way no i think we should go this way and it's just creating more chaos and the more that they argue about dumb shit, the more that they're running out of oxygen okay there's someone in the submarine that's already lightheaded. It's becoming very much so survival of the finish. But there's also someone in this submarine that has accepted the outcome. There's someone that said, not said, but I keep feeling that someone that's in this situation. It's like I devoted my life to this. So if I go out like this, I know that I devoted my entire life to this research, to this work. I gave my all. So there's someone that, like there's someone here, even though they're fearful, it's like I have no regrets. So there is someone that's thinking of this from an optimistic standpoint and they're actually in a very meditative state. There's someone that has accepted it. There's someone, there's a, there's an argument and then there's someone that has accepted it. Seven of Wands reverse. What would be the outcome of this situation? The Knight of Swords. We will hear more information regarding this. We will. Of course, we're going to hear more information. We're... But the news doesn't feel good. Yeah, Six of Swords. The Six of Swords can talk about moving forward. 
despite the baggage or despite the disappointment. The five of cups reversed, the four of cups reversed, the emperor and the ten of swords reversed. It's not looking good, guys. It's, it's just not. It's not looking good. And it, it's... I keep hearing people arguing and that's annoying me because it's like, that's not important. That's dumb. This is not a pissing contest. Put your heads together and figure it out. Do your job. Save the day. Save them. But I'm just hearing more commotion than I'm hearing solution. Outcome regarding this unfortunate situation. We have the sacral chakra. We have the broken heart card. We have the cornucopia. We have blossoming abundance. We have rest and rejuvenation. There's going to be some good news coming through, but there's still something unfortunate that will come out of this situation. There's good news and then there's bad news. That's what I'm seeing. It's not looking good. Even if they find it, I keep picking up on something that's not that. It's not, it's not good. Well, guys, all I'm going to say is... I said this before and I will say it again and I stand by this and it is what it is. I strongly believe that the energy in the ocean is very angry. We need to have respect for the ocean. There is something going on and I find it very interesting that these men that are in the submarine are pioneers of research surrounding the ocean and things of that sort. And we know that the Titanic is cursed and we know that there's been some disappearances in the ocean. There's been whale attacks as of recently. Something's going on and we're going to be seeing more. And I do feel like hurricane season is going to be very active. These are my predictions. There's gonna be some good news coming out, but there is gonna be some bad news coming through regarding this unfortunate situation that went global and we're just waiting to hear an outcome. I, I do feel that they're getting closer, but there's arguing going on that's making them waste time. So we will know by tomorrow, Thursday, the latest Thursday morning. It's Wednesday right now as I'm doing this reading. Yeah, I have my pendulum right here. I have not used my pendulum since the prim, since the presidential election. <laughs> so let's use my pendulum. Um, back and forth is yes. A circle is a no. I do not make the rules. This is just how my pendulum is. Now, this is my hand holding it. And this is the pendulum itself. I am not moving it like this. It will move by itself based on the questions that I ask. Again, you do not have to believe in any of this. But, you know. If you're on this channel, then you have to be with the vibe. So I'm, I'm just saying, like, if you don't believe, I don't know. Anyway, let's get to, let me, let me ask. Place it on your palm to center it. Okay. Hello, pendulum. Show me yes. Let me put the, my finger in so you guys don't say I'm moving it. Show me yes. Show me no. Thank you. Will we hear good news surrounding this situation? Will they find the submarine? Yes. 
Will we find it in time? There's a no. Will we hear good news surrounding the situation? Okay. Is the Titanic cursed? That's a yes. Is there life that we know nothing about in the ocean? It swung harder for a yes. Are the spirits of the ocean angry? Yes. Are the whale attacks connected to the energy of the ocean itself being angry? Yes. Okay, guys. So let's just see. Remember that this is just a reading. I hope that everything works out and pulls through. I really do. However, what I picked up on, what I'm seeing, just going to keep it in prayer. Let's keep it in prayer, guys. But um, let's also respect the ocean and let's be careful. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this entire thing. And um, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.